When I started back in 2015, you guys can go to my YouTube channel and see my very first for sale by owner live call. I was horrible. I sounded like a robot. You can read the comments. Oh, this girl doesn't know what she's doing. She sounds horrible. Oh, she's not gonna make it. And let me tell you, I knew that I wanted to go after listings. And when I press record, when I was making that call, I was so nervous because first of all, I had never made a call to a for sale by owner. And then aside from that, I was recording this and I told myself, you know what? I'm trying to figure out what it's like to cold call. I'm going on YouTube. I'm not really finding any people cold calling. So let me record this so that others can learn from, you know, how bad I am because maybe they want to start making these calls, but they they're scared or they think, oh, well, everyone else is so much better than me. So that was kind of my experience with getting into for sale by owners. I knew that I wanted to go after listings. I knew that expired for sale by owners were pretty much people that were raising their hand that they wanted to sell. Now, it doesn't mean that some of them were actually serious or motivated, but if I could control going after a certain type of lead that I know that I knew for a fact wanted to sell, then I was going to do that. I was not turning away buyers, but I figured, you know, I'm a new agent. I don't have any business. Might as well go after the hard leads that nobody wants to work. I had always heard how agents were scared to call expires and for sale by owners because how they answered and they're always rude and they yell at you and oh, you, all you realtors are the same. So in my head, I said, you know what? I'm gonna make this a challenge for me. I'm going to learn all of the objection handlers to the top objections and things that people say over the phone. And it's always the same, the same thing. Oh, well, you guys all do the same thing. I have never heard of your company. Oh, well, how many homes have you sold? Or, oh, I don't need you, or this and that. You know exactly the type of things that these expires and FISBO say. So I made it a goal to know and memorize at least three to four objection handlers for every single objection that I would hear. So if you guys are not role playing or if maybe you're scared about making these calls, that's the first thing that you need to do. Start practicing and role playing objection handlers. I can guarantee that once you start getting better at that, it's almost going to be like a game. It got to be like a game for me where I see a new FISBO pop up and if I'm driving and I'm in a parking lot, I go on the Zillow app, I'm like, you know what, I really wanna call this, this person to see if I can set an appointment. Because for me, like I said, it became like a game and a challenge where I wanna set appointments. In my head, I envisioned myself as being a top listing agent. So when I would see these people pop up in my CRM or on Zillow or on forsalebyowner.com, I saw those as opportunities for me. I saw those as paychecks. It got so crazy, you guys, that in the beginning, I would remember I would sleep thinking about the listing presentation. That's how much I wanted to be a listing agent and that's how much I was practicing.